Hey everybody, Adam here. So, <clears throat> the other day I did a live video, uh, I guess it's been about two days ago, and um, I mentioned um, a man that has impregnated one of his daughters from the Church of God Restoration hailing out of Greenville, Ohio, and um, there was there was a couple of young men that left the church um, sometime recently. Uh, one of them may have been kicked out, and I mentioned I mentioned the first name of and the last name of the other one. Did not mention the victim's name, but I want to give you all that are that have left the cult and you can apply this across the board whether you've left the Church of God Restoration cult led by Stephen Hargrave out of Muncie, Indiana owner of Brothers okay it looks like it came back on so let me say the last thing again whether you left the Church of God Restoration or you've left ABC XYZ cult, whatever you want to call it, wherever you're at, the very best thing you can do is not answer your phone to anybody from the cult, particularly the leaders, because here's what they're going to do. They're going to hound you. They're going to persecute you. In a, they're going to mentally abuse you until you cave in to whatever request they want of you. You are the enemy to them. So you don't see those that, le that left the Catholic Church or didn't go to Mass or what have you going and speaking to the Inquisition and coming out alive. They were burned at the stake, sawn asunder, you name it. And so, um, I've, you that are messaging me and wanting me to take my video down because I mentioned a name, that's not happening. You need to turn your phone off to those that are in the cult that are harassing you. You are actually aiding and abetting the cult leaders when you cower to their fear, to their um, intimidations. That's what you're doing. So if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Turn your phone off. Screen every call coming in. If you don't like who's calling you, don't answer it. Because Ray Tinsman, he's going to send his dogs out after you. He himself is going to hound you. And they're going to they're going to try to use you as a pawn for their end purpose, which is silence. They don't want what Lyndon Loftus did out into the air. They don't want that. They don't want people asking questions. They don't want people knowing about what they've done behind closed doors, how they've covered up rapes, multiple incests, and on and on and on. The list is vast. They don't want that information to be known. And so, like one of the former's, former members testified in, in, in the comments below one of the videos that fear was the driving factor. And quoted the scripture, the fear of man bringeth a snare. It does. So, if you're so fearful of man that you can't handle their attacks on you, turn your phone off. 
What you ought to be doing is sitting down and watching every video Colt Busters ever put out in the last three years and educate yourself. And stop fighting against the very thing that is helping you. Ray Tinsman, Stephen P. Hargrave, Patrick O'Shea Jr. Sr., Benjamin Topstiga, Elizabeth Opal, Addison Everett, who we've not heard or seen anything out of for a while now, by the way. These people are not your friends. They have been gone to many, many times by probably even yourself. Many people have gone to, gone to them over the years seeking counsel, help, advice, and, and what has it gotten them? Stephen P. Hargrave counseled my wife for 15 years and never one time picked up the phone, never one time called me and said, Brother Adam, talking to your wife or she came to the ministry or I have no idea what they even talked about and then after they moved her out Steve's like I know what you need to do to get your wife back what Steve get on my hands and knees and polish your shoes not happening and so some of you need to grow up and you need to realize who your friends are and who your enemies are and you need to take a stand for the truth and stop being a whine, whiny, crying, sniveling brat that woe is me, boo hoo, I'm hurt, they did this to me and mine and and then you just sit around and attack those that are trying to expose this evil. It's ridiculous. So, you that sent me a messenger a couple of times now, this is your answer. I'm not taking no video down. I have not said anything to hurt anyone except these false leaders that cause others to err. I have named them out by name, told you what city they live in, where they hail from, and I've not held anything back because it's the leaders of the people that cause them to err. And as long as you are going to give ear to these leaders, you're going to continue to be hurt. And you're going to continue to help others and aid that others be hurt. Those of you that have been hurt and still haven't even given your testimony. What are you thinking? You're thinking about yourself. And you're not thinking clearly. You're not thinking properly. You're not thinking scripturally you're not thinking godly concerning this thing. The Church of God Restoration has a camp meeting coming up in West Milton, Ohio. They own the campgrounds there and they are fixing to have a week long meeting of just probably ray worship probably Steve and Randy worship. We're raised now trying to spread the blame around and make two other chief apostles besides himself. Why? Because the heat in the kitchen is getting too hot for old Ray. Especially now when his right hand man, his, his probably his number one bodyguard, impregnates his daughter. Not Ray's daughter, his own daughter. 
And Ray is threatening the church of God that if anybody asks about Lyndon Loftus, they're going to be put out. I say ask. Make them put you out. Stand up in that pew that you're sitting in. Be a man, be a, be a woman of God and stand up and make lift up your voice like a trumpet and make your voice known. Ask them straight up. But no, you want to cower in fear. What are they going to do to you, folks? Are they going to command their 15 plus um, armor bears to fill you full of lead? No, they're not. They're scarcely even going to lay hands on you. This is a spiritual battle. Thankfully, we live in America. And these people, in my opinion, have not yet transgressed to the point where, like Jim Jones, they're going to put lead in you or inject you with cyanide or something else. So quit worrying about the Kool-Aid. You have bigger things to worry about. You're pining away in Babylon and you don't even know it. Because for 40 years they've preached against Babylon and presented themselves as something they're not. They've given you a false concept of what the church is, a false concept of what Babylon is. They've separated the boys and the girls to the point where now dads are impregnating daughters. Brothers have been impregnating sisters. And brothers of that sister having sex with her. I don't even know what you call that. Incest to the second power or something? I don't know. But these things are happening because of what these people have taught. Wives, um... Women going over to their parents' house and telling them, I don't want to see you no more. I don't want to talk to you no more. Don't want to hear from you anymore because you're not coming to the church. What? This is insanity, delusional, religious garbage that has been taught by these leaders that have caused these people to err. Steve Hargrave is so blind and ignorant that when he was called this morning, he asked the man, well, why don't you call me on your regular line? Call me on your regular line. Because to get a hold of him, you got to do star six, nine. I do. And this other person does. He still got us blocked. He's such a pathetic weakling. His father, the devil, commands him that he cannot speak to me and some others because why? Greater is in us than he that is in them. My phone's not blocked. Call me up. I invite you, Ray or Steve or any of you pathetic false apostles to call me at any time. Call me. I told Ray at the camp meeting last year or the year before, why don't you call me and talk to me like a man? Why don't we talk about these things? Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in you. You're cowards. And you take the weak among you and you continue to drive them in the dirt. You will not suffer them that are entering to enter in because you yourselves are not entering in. And so you have to make it, make these, these fairy tale threats. Oh, you're going to go to hell if you leave here. You're going to go to hell if you question an apostle. You ain't going nowhere except out the door. And, and if you would just realize 
what you're dealing with. You would go not, you wouldn't go out the door and forsake God because you'd realize that you were just dealing with Satan's ministers, not godly men that, that watch for your souls, as the scripture says. Paul said, the more I love you, the, the, the more you hate me, the worse you treat me. But some of you love to be ignorant. You don't want true prophesying. You want told smooth things. You want lies and hypocrisy. As long as you're in the clique, you're happy. Forget the click. You need to be clicking alongside of Jesus and him alone, or you will be lost. Following these men's going to get you nowhere but right into the ditch. Some of them even know they're in the ditch. But they don't care because the love of God is not in them and they have not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So they don't care. You can, you can wine and dine them. You can cry at their feet. You can wash their feet with your hair. You can beg and scrape like Jacob Braun did and make ridiculous videos rebutting every truth you ever told. And they don't care. They only care that in the end of the day, they don't come out smelling like sulfur or come out that others know they were wrong. They want to keep that false impression going that we're the one and only true ministry. This is the one and only true church. They have no idea what the church even is. Ichabod, the spirit has departed from them if it was ever with them. And strong delusion has been put in its place. So, in answer to the question, absolutely not. I'm not taking no video down. There's nothing in there that should be offensive to anybody that thinks. So there's your answer. If you don't like the video, it's because you didn't watch enough of it. If you don't like the things that Adam says, it's because you've not watched enough of Adam. Or you're on, you're on a completely different wavelength and you're of an entirely different spirit, which that's your choice. But Adam's not going to change for you. Adam's not going to, going to omit truth that is helpful to others because you have your feelings hurt because you are listening to the wrong people. So, all right. Jesus is the way. There is no, there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Salvation is not in Ray. <laughs> Salvation in the name of our chief apostle, D. Ray Tinsman. Are you kidding me? That is a... <laughs> that's a gift from the Lord, is what that is. Strong delusion... Delusion to those that have rejected the truth but it is a light and a lamp unto the feet of everybody else. That's what that is. So I'm going to leave you with that. If you pray to Steve, it's time to leave. If you pray to Marcus, you're dwelling in the darkness. It's time to turn your back on that place, walk away, and don't look back. Treat it like Sodom and Gomorrah, and your lot heading for the hills, and you do not look back. That's the way you need to be. 
All right. Lord bless y'all.